Hola guys, how are you? Good day to my subscribers over here on YouTube, out there at Facebook, and also on TikTok. Guys, in this vlog or episode, I'd like to do an NBA card spotlight on Laurie Markkanen of the Utah Jazz. The Utah Jazz were supposed to tank the season. Many thought that they would, they would actually tank in the season 2022 to 23 season of the NBA but apparently they're not tanking for Victor Vemanyama all right they are currently at 10 wins against two losses and we are on the third week or fourth week of the NBA that's remarkable that's a remarkable run and um, currently the, who is the one leading the charge for the Utah Jazz that would be Laurie Markkanen he is from Finland and it's a resurgence of sorts because he was drafted in the 2017-18 draft. The draft that um, produced Ben Sim sorry, sorry, it's uh, Donovan Mitchell and Jason Tatum because Ben Simmons was a rookie that year, but he actually got drafted in 2016 to 17. I don't know why I actually included Ben Simmons there in that conversation. But I want to throw this question to you as a collector. Would you actually speculate still on Laurie Marcanon even though he is already five years uh, in the league? And he has been out for so many months or years. I don't know. Uh, because he had um, a history of ankle injuries since the beginning of his career. So, I'm asking you right now, would you still speculate and invest on Laurie Marcanon? I will be answering, I will be giving you my thoughts on that as well, all right, in the coming minutes. But before that, please do follow me on Instagram. That would be at timduncan21 underscore card collector. And also, please follow us at Off Centered over at Facebook. That is my podcast group. Uh, our podcasts usually happen every Friday, 9 p.m., Fridays at 9 p.m., Philippine time. All right, we usually interview a lot of um, people all over the world, Pinoy's all over the world as much as possible because we want to show to the world that Filip Filipinos and Pinoy's are one hell of a collecting unit <laughs> for cards for that matter, for basketball cards for that matter. All right, so let's go and discuss why you should or should not invest on Laurie Marcanen. Let's go. So here we are, guys, and let's talk about Laurie Marcanen. Um, Lori Markkanen is actually the seventh pick overall during the 2017 to 18 draft, but he had a slew, uh, a history of injuries. His ankle was suspect all the time since he was drafted in 2017. So he jumped for three teams already. That would be the Chicago Bulls, the Cleveland Cavaliers, and now with the Utah Jazz. And during his stint with the Cleveland Caleb Cavaliers, he was often injured. And many thought that his career is actually over. All right, But he is having a resurgence of sorts with the Utah Jazz as he has now been scoring. Being, being, uh, he is now scoring at will. All right? He is having a field day from the outside and also inside. He is scoring 22 points per game on the average. Would you believe that? And the Utah Jazz is not actually... 10 wins and 2 losses in the win-loss column, but they are at 10-3. So sorry about what I said a while back. So um, today is November 12, and the, lead, the, the Utah Jazz apparently are not giving up on the battle for supremacy So we, as we speak. Because Benny thought that I've said that um, the, the Utah Jazz would actually tank for Victor Wembanyama, all right? So I'll be showcasing three of my favorite cards of Lorne Marcanen. Yes, I do have some because I actually believed in him during his um, rookie draft 
when he was drafted because many thought that Laurie Markkanen would be the next, the, the second coming of the unicorn, which is who is Kristaps Porzingis, who is also down right now in terms of hobby love and hobby value, all right, in, in his cards. No, so right now I'll be showcasing three only three of my cards of Laurie Markkanen. This is his Prism RC Fast Break. This is now valued at $50 with up, va uh, up arrows over at Beckett. All right, fast break. Next up would be his Holo, Optic Holo. There you go. This is now valued at $30 with up arrows as well over at Beckett. BV, Beckett value, and also this card. This is a, um, a contender's autograph variation or parallel this is number 275 there you go um this is now valued at 120 dollars over at beckett all right with i don't know if it has up arrows though but i want to make a shout out to my friend mr uj cortez Pare, thank you very much for this card i think you st i hope you still remember this you were the one who actually um, sold this card to me for $60 at that time or 3,000 pesos, all right? It has gone down in value when Laurie Marcanen was suck well, when Laurie Marcanen was actually sucking. <laughs> um, right now, medyo tumataas na ulit ang value nito. So, I think this is, this should be selling more than 3,000 pesos, right? So, thank you for this. Pumunta ka pa ng galeria para lang Mabili ko yung card na yan. So, thank you very much. That's the first time that I ever met you, if you should remember that. So, uh, ngayon, tata ang tanong natin kanina is, do you, would you, should I say, or should I actually um, give an advice for you to collect Lori Marcanen right now? Or not? Alright? The way I see it, you should actually sell your Marcanens right now uh, habang mainit siya while he is hot in the hobby. He is actually hot in the hobby. Um, why? Why now? Why not wait? All right? Because I don't think the Utah Jazz would actually win in the playoffs. For one, I hope I'm not, I'm mistake, I am mistaken on that for um, Laurie Marcanen fans or for the Utah Jazz's fans, all right? Uh, I'm not saying that they won't. I'm just assuming that they won't, all right? I'm thinking that um, this is just the start of a good season, but I don't think that they would actually make it um, make it big in the playoffs, so they won't win the championship. So Laurie Marcanen's cards would actually taper, all right? So it's better for you to sell them now. And why don't you, why don't we wait for, for him to really go up in value? If that's the case, you would ask. It's because of the fact that Laurie Marcanen has always been injured during his um, five-year stay in the league. Um, for one, yung history of his ankles are not good, all right? So, medyo meron siyang um, tendency to be injured and that is not good for any collector or for any hobbyist or for the cards of that player, all right? So, I really don't think that you should actually wait just sell them off if you want to. So if you're asking me if I'm selling these, I'm not. It's not because I am investing on him. It's because of the fact that I am a collector. And I want some of his cards because of the fact that I actually believed in him when he was a rookie, as I've said, as I've mentioned. Ngayon, wala lang. Ayoko lang mawala sa akin itong mga to because I do collect cards, right? So, so I don't want to lose these, uh, these um, cards from me, Okay. <clears throat> As weird as it sounds. Alright. But, pwede rin naman tumaas ang card si Marcanen. So, it's a risk that you have to take. If you wanna don't, if you don't want to uh, follow my lead or my advice, nasa sa inyo yun. You could actually collect him and invest on him. Who knows? The Utah Jazz might win the championship and he wins the finals MVP. <laughs> a long shot, but it could happen. Bilog ang bola, as they say. The ball is round. Anything could actually happen. But the way I see it, I don't really don't think that uh, he would really move up in value that much um, because of the fact that many people have already given up on him, but he is having a resurgence. And 
not a lot of um, uh, folks in the hobby, I mean, would actually gravitate towards a resurging player. Alright? And uh, they'd give a chance, but hindi masyadong madami ang mag-gravitate towards that resurging player as, as unless he wins a championship and he wins um, he, he actually uh, brings his team to the finals and wins a championship na talagang siya yung main guy alright it rarely happens I don't even remember if that has already happened remember the Detroit Pistons of uh, the, the, the time that when, they, when the, their best player was actually Chauncey Billups Wala naman tumaas na cards doon kahit na nanalo sila. Even Tayshon Prince who was a pretty young player at that time. Why? It's because of the fact that wala naman talaga superstar doon. And Laurie Markkanen, as of now, is not a superstar. But, as I've mentioned, pwede nyo siyang kolektahin. Nasa sa inyo, it's up to you to take that risk. So, I'm not hyping these cards that I have. I'm just saying it it is what it is. Alright? So, <laughs> believe what you want that's what i am thinking so thank you very much for watching i hope you learned something from this okay so two thumbs up guys and also uh, please do subscribe to my channel that's revy my you use hobby blogs okay hopefully panoorin nyo din lahat yung mga videos dun sa mga hindi pa ngayon lang kakasubscribe ngayon lang ako nakita Panoorin niyo yung mga ibang videos ko. This is a hobby vlog. I also talk about watches. I also talk about comic books, Hot Wheels, and stuff. But Bihira is mostly NBA cards, which is my, actually, my first, eh, my, not my first, my priority in terms of my hobby. First love, in a way. Number one love, <laughs> if you want to rank them. So there you go. Please do, as I mentioned, please do subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you would be notified whenever I have new vlogs. And also keep safe, guys. And also, adios. Thank you.